A chameleon from had years ago is. The Mayans predict the world will end on December 21, 2012, which is a terrible idea since we as humans have not even invented a self-coming air yet. Someone you have to defend our planet and prevent this from happening. And that defender you have to be me, Dikembe Mutombo. For four and a half weeks, I will courageously battle to save our world and with your help, carve additional time into the Maya calendar to buy us more time on the earth. That's why this game is called Dikembe Mutombo's Four and a Half Weeks to Save the World. The Kimbe. Oh yes, my trustly bear friend, Sans the Bear. No time for pleasantries, the Kimbe. Look, a South Korean dance is sweeping the country and now Americans are too busy dancing to vote. See? You are right. I was completely not thinking about voting just then. Exactly. That South Korean dance is well past its natural social bus shelf life. And if it isn't stopped, it will surely be... The end of the world. Are you sure, dear science? I'm a hyper-intelligent bear with a keen fashion sense and a firm grasp of the English language. Of course I'm right. Okay. What do I do? You must travel to the heart of America and stop the people from dancing so they can vote. Take these ballots. Stop the dancing. Blow out this candle. Eat the cake. And save the world. Thank goodness. This superior deodorant product is also a jetpack. I'll say. Now go! Defeat the South Korean dance and preserve our democracy. For James Madison, the father of our constitution! food chains and home improvement centers are clogging the veins leading to the heart of America. the most important state for some reason. You have to stop dancing and start voting. No way, bro. The South Korean dances make me ignore this election and unignore the rhythm of life. Oh, I know. What, bro? If you will not stop dancing, then I will stop you from not stopping your dance to vote. <laughs>
Dikembe, guess who voted? Let freedom ring. We are one step closer to saving the world. All right, I'm going to go fade back into obscurity with the majority of my professional sports teams. Ohio! I voted too, but it's going to take them weeks to count my votes. In the meantime, want to count these nachos? Okay. One, two, four. I think you mean three. Oh yeah. Three, four, seventy-eight. <laughs> <laughs> oh Florida, you are so Florida, aren't you? Well done, Dakinbe, and well done you. Let's input your initials and game score in our real-time Mayan calendar carver and see how much closer we are to completing the ring before the world ends. Thanksgiving is my favorite holiday. I'm so glad I could spend it with my two best friends, Sans the Bear and Random Turkey. Here, here, here! So, Random Turkey, is Thanksgiving awkward for you? Why would it be awkward? No reason. Oh my good griefness. Look! Bluggies. Bluggies. I thought I destroyed the last one of those six years ago. Well, they're back. And their return can only mean one thing. The end of the world. I must stop these bloggies once and for all. As soon as I finish this green bean casserole. Go to the bloggy factory. Stop the bloggies. And save the world. Yes. And also yes to this Cranston roll. <laughs> Dikembe, Dikembe, I made you this mixtape of a song I recorded with some friends. I hope it inspires you to greatness. I love mixtapes. Oh, wow. oh no, there are children in the factory. I better not destroy any bloggers with them around. I don't want to break their tender little hearts. Sorry to interrupt your game, Mr. Dikembe, but I just heard that Hostess desserts are gone forever. Hostess gone? This is for sure the end of the world. Hostess cakes, our stomachs will miss you. Snowball these lights, unimagined imaginables. Too bad we'll never eat hoes again because they taste amazing. They're delicious all of the time. Yummy ding dongs, ding 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 dongs. Twinkie flagship dessert, my mouth will always remember the times that we had when you went there. Delicious memories are inside of each of us. 
The delicious memories are inside of each of us. Goodbye, sweet cakes. I shall win for you. What is that in your hand, Bloggy? <laughs> oh no! My friendship! Random turkey, you saved me. I did it for friendship, Dikembe. Yeah, I heard you the first time. For friendship. I know. Random turkey. No. You kids hungry for some turkey? <laughs> Delicious success. Let's input your initials and game score in our real-time Mayan calendar cover and see how much closer we are to completing the ring before the world ends. Science, it's nice to take a break and see a film with you in totally no date for sure, just friends way. Agreed. Sweet, sweetums, look! Vampire romance is still number one at the box office for the third week in a row. But, how can that be? <laughs> Don't people care about the well-developed characters and thought-provoking plot points anymore? Not really. These vampire romance movies are rapidly rotting the brains of America's youth. With each movie, their brains get smaller and smaller. Soon, there will be no brains left. No brains. By my calculations, one more might leave them with no brains at all. Good thing they won. Ever make another cause that will cost like 500 millions? Holy honeycombs! The lottery jackpot just went up to 587.5 million. That's his plan. Who? Last night I snuck into Hollywood Fat Cat's house. Ate all his jelly. Looked for more jelly. Then found a lottery ticket with these numbers on it. Mmm, <coughs> jelly. Takemi, if they win this 587.5 million and fund another vampire romance movie, it will surely be the end of the world. Go now. Break into the lottery machine. Destroy these numbers. And look out for teenagers. They will not be happy about this. But I just put down a 30-year mortgage on this movie popcorn. Plus.
money, Fiscal Cliff is real. Psst, Dikembe, Dikembe, psst, it's me, Random Turkey, as a hologram. Random Turkey? Dikembe, you don't have to worry about the Fiscal Cliff until January 1st. Go back, save the children, for friendship. You are right. Let's put the fiscal cliff off until the very last possible moment. I better get back to what I was doing. U.S.A. U.S. of A. What are you doing here? I'm here to save American brains from your vampire slash human slash werewolf slash human again. Love movies. And to give you my screenplay. Never! <laughs> Hollywood fat cat. This Jack Spa is going to the middle of America at the rundown gas station somewhere like it always does and not to your vampire romance movie. But we weren't going to make another one. What? Well, yeah, we were gonna use that money to make an inspirational biopic about a small town teacher. An inspirational biopic? So inspirational that everyone who watched it would go back to school. Oh. And get degrees in proper child nutrition. In desert countries. Eh. Oh, and we were going to donate all the profits to saving every endangered animal in the world. So, not another vampire movie then? No, no. Oh. I was really off on this one. Just kidding, we were totally gonna make another vampire romance movie and rot more brains. I had you. I totally had you. <laughs> yeah, you got me good. Speaking of good, did you really eat my screenplay? Yes, I did. <laughs> okay, so, how are we coming on that Maya calendar? Science? Science! <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, I'm just calculating the algorithms. Um, let's input your initials and game score stuff in our Mayan calendar carver and see how much closer we are to completing the ring. I have to take this. Hey, what's up, girl? Get out! Oh my! Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Girl! You ain't got to tell me twice. <laughs> All right. I'll see you in Cabo, right? Okay, bye. Dikimi, that was the queen. Her highness says the princess is pregnant. Yes! I love baby peoples. Yes. 
but she says the princess is going through threat-level orange pregnancy cravings for an American-sized hoagie sandwich and a 142-ounce soda drink. Threat-level orange? That is way worse than some of the other threat colors. Exactly. And if her pregnant cravings are not satisfied, she will get royally pissed. And she could release her royal navy on everyone. It will surely be... The end of the world. What can I do to address her mysterious, yes, admirable body chains? Take this sandwich and 142 ounce soda drink pop to the princess. Feed the royal baby through the royal princess. Royally. I will. I hope I don't split these soda drinks because my hands will get sticky. Good plan. Now go! Oof, that yoga really loosen up my legs, joints, and stuff. That's convenient for this video game. What happened to the graphics? What is this game? Like 40 years old? 40 years to the day. It's my birthday. I'm 40. Happy birthday, video game. How's going? Well, I just bought a red convertible and took on a number of mistresses, so... Midlife crisis. Ha! Huh. <laughs> More like midlife awesomeness. You get it? More like awesome, less like a crisis, or no, or what? No? Mm, I would get back to what I was doing. Oh, thank you so much for bringing me that American-sized hoagie. I was so dying for that. I'm sorry. This is not for you. It's for the princess. Give it to my mouth. I have these hamburgers. You can have those. My baby demands that sandwich now! Hmm. Oh. I present to you this American size hoggy sandwich and 142 ounces soda. Gimme! Thank you, noble Dikembe. My baby is fed, and it's kicking my spleen right now. My lady, 
Would you permit me to pour this milk on my head in your presence? Why? That sounds stupid. Everybody on the internet is doing it. And seem as how we are on the internet right now. Milking is 100% the stupidest thing I have ever heard of. <laughs> I hereby decree, as princess of your collective hearts, that this stupidity must end. Anyone who milks himself is not a smart person. She's a princess and she hates milking cause it's so stupid stupid. Only stupid stupid but people would do the milking cause it's for stupid people. <laughs> <laughs> that. Let's input your initials and game score in our real-time Mayan calendar cover and see how much closer we are to completing the ring before the world ends. Well, thank you, champ. Happy holiday presents. Ah, uh, thank you, this is Sun- Whoa, that was an unexpected knockout. Well, here you are, Dikembe. I love holiday gifts that I have to call holiday for sensitivity reasons. Grilled cheeses. Correct. <laughs> so thoughtful. You're welcome. <sighs> What? Oh no. I was afraid of this. What? 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 The internet. It's taking over our video game. Internet. No. It's so clear now. The South Korean dancing, the blurgies, the vampires, our obsession with royal princess babies, all the things that have threatened our world have come from the internet. The internet is taking over everything. Yes. And if we do not stop it, it will surely be the end of the world. What? Good tacos. Send curses. Dumb. Oh no. It's confusing our language. Go to space and destroy the mainframe. Quick. Pickle to fruit hooray. Tiger Jack. Apple sauce. Dikembe, the internet is sending its strongest means to stop you. Community-driven comedy memes cannot stop me. Not in a million light years. That is not a scientifically correct use of that term. But I'll let it slide this time. He. Grumpy cats! Let's see how you do with ridiculously photogenic guys.
the triple laser. Have fun with my scumbag steel. Gimbe, I knew you'd come. Do you know everything? I do. Aha! Did you know I'd come to help the Kimbe defeat you? Yes. But you don't know what friendship is. Internet. And that's our secret weapon. Yes. Friendship, attack! I am the internet. Let's see how you do against yourself. Hey, that's me. I'm you all evil. Science is too strong. I know. Let me think. Oh, friendship, science. Give me. I know what I must do. No! Take this ridiculous stainless steel coffee card. It has $425 on it. I won't be needing it where I'm going. Don't do it, science. You are my only friend that the bear that talks. Yes, I have to. I love you, Dikimbe. Like a friend and all. Take care of my jelly for me. No! Because I am the internet, and the internet can't be defeated. Oh no, this is the worst holiday season. First my eastern boxing friend gets knocked out, and then my only bear friend that talks die. Look on the bright side, you got that coffee card and... These dumb things, I can only buy like five coffees with it. And your friend's sacrifice was so touching that I have decided not to destroy the world for at least another five to seven years. That makes it a little better. Let's try to remember the good times. Goodbye, Science the Bear. He did it for French fries. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Just kidding. He did it for friendship, Dicky me. Now, in accordance with his will, here he signs his favorite song performed by his only bear friend with rhythm. Come on! Put off the red nose reindeer Had a very shiny nose uh, And if you ever saw him You would even say it close Come on! Come on! All of the other reindeer Used to laugh and call him names Put off the red nose reindeer You go down to history forever You go down to history forever You go down to history What? Yes, we complete the calendar. We have saved the whole world. My dear friend Science asked me, in the off chance that he died by jumping into the internet to save mankind, that I played this video recording for us. Dikimbe. <laughs> I wanted to let you know that there's absolutely no scientific truth that playing a fictitious video game and adding the Mayan calendar would actually save the world. Technically. That was kind of the best idea I had, um, at the time. So, I hope we don't die on the 21st. And by we, I mean you guys, because apparently I'm already dead. I guess. Cheerio! Bare muscles. Or the right muscle. <sighs> So, hopefully it will work. I guess we will find out tomorrow.